Kiora, welcome to another video. Today, I'm driving the 2022 Kia Stonic. This is the 5 door subcompact crossover, sharing the same platform as Kia Rio. However, it was 75mm longer and 35mm wider than the Rio hatchback. This one has a starting price of 25990 plus on road cost. It is on the cheaper side, but there's quite a few interesting highlights to offer. We pop open the hood by pulling this latch over here and we have a 1.4 litre naturally aspirated 4 cylinder engine and a 6 speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic capabilities meaning you wish to, you can pop the gear shift over to the right push up or down to select the gear manually This engine produces about 100 horsepower and 133 newton meters of torque the fuel tank is 45 liters and requires only regular gas. It offers good gas mileage with less than 6 liters per 100 kilometers, which is not bad for a car of this size. In today's fuel price, it would cost you around $110 to fill all the way up. To start the vehicle, as long as you have the key, put your foot on the brake and press the start button, and it fires straight up. You may need to turn the volume down manually every time you start up the car. Here is the steering wheel setup. This is a round shaped leather rubbed steering wheel. On the left hand side, we have buttons to activate voice controls, also hang up the phones, adjust the volume and change the track you are listening to. On the right, we have buttons to navigate through driving data on the LCD screens, current speed, driving assistances, driving time, etc. We also have cruise control and a button to activate the lane keep assist. The indicators on the right integrating the lighting controls, main beam, side lights, auto lights and off. Wiper control is located on the left. You can adjust the sensitivities, pull it towards you once, activate the washer nozzle. Up above, we have a analog gauge clusters, RPM on the left along with the temperature gauge, speedometers on the right along with the fuel gauge. We have a decent sized color LCD screen in the middle showing all sorts of information. Down to the right, we have a traction control on and off button over here and a button to adjust the brightness of the gauge cluster display. Moving to the right, we have mirror controls to adjust the side mirrors on both sides. We also have folding functions. Window controls behind it with driver size automatically up and down only. The other three windows you have to push all the way up and down, unfortunately. Going to the middle, up on top, we have two lights with fairly simple control, along with a sunglasses holder. Below, we have a manual dimming rear view mirror with simple functions. Underneath the infotainment screen, we have door lock control and the hazard light switch. Immediately, Below, we have a fairly simple air conditioning unit, all to be adjusted manually. It's simple, but it works fine. And we got the rear defroster button over here. We have two fairly large storage area to store your phones and a 12 volt sockets and an illuminated USB cable. We have a parking sensor on and off button along with other black buttons a rather smooth 6-speed automatic transmission and you pop to the right shifting up and down to activate the tectronic functions by shifting the gear to reverse it activates the rear view mirror with adjustable guidelines it moves along your steering wheel There's a manual handbrakes behind 
along with two small cup holders and a center armrest which is extendable with storage inside. There's no damping while you open the glove box which may fall onto your passenger's knees. There's a decent storage with no lights in there. Now let's move to the back seats to see what this Kia Stonic has to offer to our rear passengers. In terms of rear seats amenities, you only got one pocket in the back. There's no center rear air vent, but you got one USB which is illuminated. You have a window controls and a grab handles above. Simple lighting controls plus two child seat anchorage on both sides of the rear passenger seat. Three headrests, but no rear center armrest, unfortunately. Let's finish it off by looking at the boot space. You have 352 liters of boot space, which is on the smaller sides in the segment. In terms of amenities, you have a light on the right hand side, two rather small shopping bag hooks, and a decent storage area for your personal belongings over here. Lifting the cover reveals a small size spare wheel. So there you have it. This is a quick tour of the 2022 Kia Stonic. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.